Welcome to this lesson. Today, let's talk about when to use all, all of the, and all the. This is a question that a student asked, and it's a great question, so I'm happy to answer it for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforceenglish.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this lesson. Let's talk about how to use all, all of the, and all the. So what's the difference between all students struggle with their speaking skills, all of the students, or all the students struggle with their English speaking skills? Hmm. Well, first you need to know the difference between a plural noun without an article and a plural noun with an article. So what's the difference between students and the students? This is the first thing you need to know. When we have a plural noun with no article in front of it, it's a general plural noun. We're talking about students in general, any student, any subject, any age, any background, any students at all, so students. When we put the article the in front of a plural noun, students, now we're limiting it to a specific group of students. The students in my class. The students I work with. The students in university. So it's not general, we're limiting it. So that's the difference between all students and all of the students, or all students and all the students. All students is general, the students is specific. Now, of course, that leaves us with the question, what's the difference between all of the students and all the students? So why in one case we use the preposition of, and in the other, we don't? The answer is simple. In spoken English, we just leave out the word of because it's only there for grammar and it's not there for meaning. And this is just an acceptable thing that we do with the structure all, of, the, and a plural noun. You can think of of as optional and when we remove it, this is generally done in spoken English and there is no difference between the two. However, to be safe and to make sure you're always grammatical, I recommend using of because it's always correct. All of the students. And I'm recommending that because there is an exception and we must use of followed by a pronoun. It's incorrect to say all us went to the party. That's incorrect because us is a pronoun. And because of that, I must say all of us, all of us went to the party. I can't say all us went to the party. That's incorrect. That's just an exception we use with pronouns. Students is not a pronoun. So I can say all of the, students went to the party or all the students went to the party. In that case, both of them are correct and I can get rid of of. So if you want, you can use the casual form that most native speakers use and get rid of of, except when it's followed by a pronoun, then you must use of. And again, to be safe, I recommend using the structure all of the and plural noun. Remember, when we're talking about plural nouns in general, not a specific group, then we get rid of the and I can say all students struggle with their speaking skills. So to summarize, all three are correct. So now it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave three examples in the comments below. And remember, 
If you get rid of of, you can't use a pronoun. So remember that. So leave your examples in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforsenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job. I can't wait to read your examples in the comments and I'll see you in my next lesson. Bye.